I welcome you all to this video. I am Mr. Ish. Thank you for joining me. Regular pentagon area. That's what we're looking at. This here is a regular pentagon, five-sided polygon where each side is equal to the other. We're calling each side here A. You have five sides. The sum of the internal angles is 540 degrees by means of this formula. Each internal angle is 180 degrees right over here as you see. The problem with the area derivation of this specific polygon is you do not have trigonometric ratios which come about. When you look at this 108 degrees which as you can see all around you split it into two you're getting a 54 and a 54. When you draw a line over here you're getting 36 and a 36. These are not your trigonometric ratios. You pull out a single triangle you draw it into two separate parts by means of this bisecting line. You have an A over 2 and an A over 2. We need to know this H because if you can determine the area of this triangle, there are five of them, you can integrate them. But again, the problem is we don't have trigonometric ratios here to help us. This right here is the accepted formula for the area of a regular pentagon. A squared divided by 4, square root 5, parentheses 5 plus 2 root 5, or this. You open up the parentheses, you have root 25 plus 10 root 5. The formula derivation you'll get through an integral calculus is not that. You'll get a different expression but it is numerically equal to this and at the end we have to do a reconciliation or we have to show you why it is equal to that. But bear with me and you'll see everything is correct. I have to determine the height of this triangle. I have a base. How can we do it? Tan 54 degrees is equal to h over a over 2. h is equal to a over 2 times tan 54. Don't compute this because it's going to get messy and you have to run this through the integral. This is what I have, a over 2 tan 54, but I don't want to keep writing tan 54 in my integral procedure. You have to do a substitution, z is equal to tan 54, now h is equal to a over 2 z. That's what you have. We know we have a base over here, base is equal to a over 2, not a, a over 2 because when I'm going to plot this out on an x and y axis, a over 2 is what we are going to use. So keep in mind, we have a substitution in play, tan 54 is equal to z. We have here this, the same triangle I've plucked it out. You know this here is a over 2 comma 0, this is minus a over 2 comma 0. All of this right here is a, but look at what I have over here. This specific point will now be 0 comma a over 2 z. It's so much easier to bring in the z than tan 54 all the time. You have to determine the equation of this line which is your right boundary curve. You have to determine the equation of this which is your left boundary curve. You know how to do the slope and the line determinations. This is your point. These are your points. Here the slope is going to be minus z. Here the slope is going to be positive z. The equation over here, I've done the work, is going to be y is equal to minus z x plus a over 2z you saw for x because you have to present equations in the x form x is going to be equal to y minus a over 2z divided by minus z which if you put the effect of the minus you're really looking at a over 2z minus y divided by z that's your right boundary curve and we'll put it right here a over 2z minus y divided by z it's very similar to your hexagon procedure. Everything is very similar except our end result. Quite different because when we don't have trigonometric ratios to help us out here. We have angles here which are not trigonometric ratio angles. You know, 45, 45, 90, 30, 60, 90, we don't have that. This is symmetric to that in terms of the y-axis. This equation here will be easy. It will be y minus a over 2 z over z. You can easily determine this on your own, the slope and then solve for x, all of that. Your integral is going to be this, not for this specific triangle, but for all the five triangles which make this pentagon five. You're going from zero up to this height, a over 2 z, right boundary curve minus left boundary curve, right minus left. We have a z over 2 minus y over z minus this y minus a z over 2 over z dy. You can clean out all of this because look, you have a common denominator. This common denominator can be pushed out. You're really looking at 5 over z. I'll erase these denominators out because I've used up the denominator and pushed it out. Look, a z over 2 plus a z over 2. Because the minus minus cancels out, you'll have 2 a z over 2, which is really an a z. I'm getting that here. Minus y minus y, I'm getting a minus 2 y. 
that's what I have. These two items are coming out from this expression. So let's bring it into play. AZ minus 2Y with respect to DY. The antiderivatives are easy. Y is your variable. Here you'll have AZY. Here you'll have minus 2Y square over 2, which is really Y square. You're getting AZY minus Y square. That's what we have. 5 over Z, the antiderivative AZY minus Y square upper limit a over 2 z lower limit 0 bring in your limits you have a z and a y and then a z over 2 coming into play you'll have a square z square over 2 minus you'll have a over 2 z square whole square which will be a square z square over 4 you know when you do the common denominator over here all of this you'll see 2 a square z square minus a square z square all over 4 when you simplify this you're getting a square z square over 4 this a square z square over 4 comes out from here and that's what i want to bring right into this parentheses a square z square over 4 times 5 over z you can cancel out this z with this square you'll end up seeing 5 over 4, I'm bringing out the 4, I have an a square, and then I have a z. That's exactly what I have. This right here is the end result of my derivation, the area formula for a regular pentagon. All I have to do is resubstitute the z. And my answer here is 5 over 4 a square 10 54. This is what I was talking about at the beginning. The formula you're getting over here is not what you're seeing over here in terms of radical because what's different over here if you write a square over 4 first you're looking here at a 5 10 54 you're seeing a 5 10 54 which has to be reconciled with everything you see right over here and it is indeed true it would take a lengthy rationalizing algebraic procedure with a lot of trigonometric identities coming into play to show that this right here is equal to this right here but i can show you mathematically it is look right here at this particular item you have 25 plus 10 times 5 root but all of this is sitting within a radical and i'm going to radical it you have 6.8819 i'm just saving that now look what i have gone 5 tan 54 do 54 tan multiplied by 5 and minus it from my saved value which is this and it will zero out which means they're mathematically equal and they are indeed equal square root 25 plus 10 root 5 is mathematically equal to 5 times the tan of 54 it just is the only problem is to reconcile this and convert it into here requires a lot of algebraic work and trigonometric work and it's not in the scope of this video but I'm showing you here this right here is your area formula for a regular pentagon and it is true because it is mathematically equal to this. You have a square over 4, you have a square over 4, you have this expression here which is mathematically equal to that. And that right there is the end of this video. Just keep in mind there's a reconciliation which is required but it is not an easy one and that right there this answer here is equal to this answer right here thank you for watching